Lakin High School Basketball on Lakin High Sports on YouTube is brought to you by these great supporters of Lakin High and the community of Lakin. Shelter Insurance, Wen Wector, East Highway 50 Lakin. Hendricks Welding, Brad Hendricks, welding at his place are yours. The Agency of Lakin and Garden City. Lakin Recreation, providing recreational opportunities for the community. The Kearney County Bank and the Garden City State Bank. The Ranch House of Garden City Assisted Living and Skilled Nursing. Shorty's 2 Cafe, Main Street Lakin. Along with Dwayne Bachman D. Bach Metals. Lakin Hay and the Lakin Dairy, Fred Ritzima. Kearney County Community Development, Mr. Ralph Goodnight. Pioneer Communications of Southwest Kansas. Lakin Drug, 610 O'Loughlin, Lakin. Flashbacks Diner West Highway 50 Lakin. And the Golden Plains Credit Union, Life with a Touch of Gold. To the hardwoods we go with the longtime voice of Lakin High Sports, Mr. Brett Hendricks. Good Friday evening. Welcome to Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. Brett Hendricks with you. Sorry about the delay, but we are on the air getting ready for Lake and Lady Bronx basketball tonight. The Lady Bronx back on the home hardwood as they get set to take on the B Lady Blue Jays of Cimarron. Lady Bronx coming off a win over Southwestern Heights on Tuesday night, defeating the Lady Mustangs by the score of 61. Excuse me. 46 to 30. Cimarron comes in 12 and 2 on the season. The Lady Bronx come in 9 and 4. These two teams now starting to jockey for substate seating, and both of these teams in the same substate this year. Cimarron coming off a win over Sublette on Tuesday night by the score of 51 to 20. The Lady Blue Jays come in hot with a seven game winning streak. Look at the starting lineup. First four Cimarron tonight, wearing number two, a 5'4 senior, Chloe Bertelson. Wearing number 10, a 5'10 senior, Taryn Jantz. Wearing number 14, Jaina Wilson. She's a 5'9 junior. Wearing number 32, Michaela Miller. Michaela, a 6'1 senior. Michaela Miller has already signed to play at Creighton University next year. And wearing number 34 is Caitlin Sonde. Caitlin is also a 6'1 senior. Starting lineup for your Lake and Lady Bronx, wearing number five, a 5'6 senior. Averaging three points per game, Sarah Wright. Wearing number 10, a 5'10 junior. Averaging just over eight points per game and grabbing eight boards per game, Sammy Vogel. Wearing number 20, a 5'3 senior. Averaging six points per game, two boards per game, Tegan Bachman. Wearing number 14, a 5'8 sophomore. Averaging just over three points per game, Kinsey Lohman Fuller. And the fifth and final starter for Lakin, a 5'10 junior, averaging eight and a half points per game and five rebounds per game, Jared Davidson. Lady Blue Jays come in averaging 52 and a half points per game. Lady Bronx are averaging 42.6 points per game. Lady Bronx shoot 32% from the field. They grab 33 rebounds per game and they shoot 54.3% uh, from the free throw line. I'll spit it out eventually. 
Lady Blue Jays are coached by Jay Lee Schilling. Welcome to the Stampede. And now we'll turn it over to public address announcer Kevin Thompson. Cimarron Blue Jays and your Lakin Bronx. On behalf of USC 215 and the Lakin Bronx Athletic Department, we would like to welcome our guests from Cimarron. We're glad you made the trip for tonight's game. Please remember our extracurricular activities are an important part of education. We encourage you to support your team in a positive manner in accordance with Keisha Rule 52. Let the coaches coach, players play, and the fans cheer during tonight's contest. Starting lineups, alternating fashion with our visitors first. Cimarron comes in tonight with a 12 and 3 record. 12 and 2, my mistake. And I like it is 9 and 4. Here are your starting lineups. First, for Cimarron, a 5 foot senior. Number 2, Chloe Bertelson. Starting for the Bronx, a 5'6 senior, number five, Sarah Wright. For the Blue Jays, a 5'10 senior, number 10, Taryn Jantz. For the Bronx, a 5'10 junior, number 10, Samantha Vogel. For Cimarron, a 5'9 junior, number 14, Jana Wilson. For Lakin, a 5'9 junior, number 14, Kinsey Loman Fuller. Starting for Cimarron, a 6'1 senior, number 32, Michaela Miller. For the Bronx, a 5'3", senior number 20, Tegan Bachman. And rounding out the Cimarron lineup, a 6'1", senior number 34, Caitlin Sunday. And rounding out the lineup for the Bronx, a 5'10", junior number 24, Jara Davidson. Starting lineups have been introduced. We're set for Lady Bronx basketball here this evening. The Lady Blue Jays and Lady Bronx set to tip things off. Lady Bronx nine and four on the season. Under second year head coach J.C. Holloway, but J.C. Holloway is not gonna be here tonight due to a prior engagement. So Kurt Leader and Holly Myers will take over the coaching duties for the Lake and Lady Bronx tonight. I want to wish J.C. Holloway the best of times tonight at his uh, function that he's at tonight. Set to tip it off at center court, Michaela Miller and Samantha Vogel. Lady Bronx in the home white uniforms going from our left to our right in this first half. Cimarron in the Carolina Blues with the dark blue letters and numbers. Tip controlled by Cimarron, Miller with it out front. Lakin in a man-to-man. -man. They work it on the right wing to Jana Wilson. Lob inside, Sonde turns off the glass and hits it. Cimarron on the board early. Pass near side, knocked away. Lakin will keep the possession. Lakin looking to beat Cimarron tonight for the first time since 2006. Cimarron comes into tonight's game winners of 23 straight over the Lady Bronx. From the low post, Sammy off the glass, 
won't go, gets the rebound, kicks it out to Jera. Jera, head fake, up top to Sarah. Sarah with the three, that's off the flat of the rim, and the rebound comes off to Jana Wilson. Correct that, that was Taryn Jans. Jans brings it up the floor, hands it off to Miller. Cross court pass to Jantz. Davidson on her, laking in a man to man. Jantz dribbled it off her foot, but able to draw it back in. Miller drives, and the left handed layup is good. Sir with it up top. Sammy at the free throw line. Underneath, Kinsey with the shot. She's fouled by Taryn Jantz. First foul on Jantz, Kinsey will go to the free throw line for two. Kinsey a 50% free throw shooter. Bring in Jared, didn't have you turned up, but I guess you didn't want to talk because you didn't turn it up yourself, right? I guess not. <laughs> Kinsey's free throw rattle in and out. I, I sit here and giggle while I'm doing this game. Have you seen the uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, progressive insurance, whatever it is. The the guy that does the play-by-play. -play, he's dribbling. He's dribbling. He's dribbling again. Yeah. He dribbles this side. He passes. He dribbles. He dribbles. Sounds just like you. <laughs> no, just like me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I I do say a little bit more than that. Kalen Miller by, with the foul. By Sammy, great defense. But I don't know why I laugh at that commercial every time I see it, but it's. <laughs> probably the same way you laugh at the Andy Reid and Mahomes commercial, probably. Hey, what, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Jarrah with the ball fake, puts it up from the free throw line. Kinsey with the putback over the backboard and out of bounds back to Sumeron. You know, I just have a good sense of humor, you know? Or a 4 one. Huh? Or a 4 one. Nah. If you can't be happy, why worry about it, right? I guess. From the left elbow, Taryn Jantz with it back out to Michaela Miller. Simron clears out. And Miller drains the three from the left side. Already five points in the game for Michaela Miller. In the paint, off the glass, Sammy off the mark as well. Chloe Bertelson with the rebound. Outlet up the far side to Miller. Hands it off to Bertelson. Now Miller back on the wing. Now you've made me, now you've given me a complex. I don't want to even talk now. <laughs> now you're fine. You just don't have the best of humor. <laughs> but I guess neither do I, so. <laughs> Sunday with the pass underneath, hits it off the glass. Sunday with four. And Miller with five, account for the nine Simron points. Steal out front, Miller at the top of the key, stolen away by Kinsey, and the Lady Bronx go back the other way. Left wing to Davidson, hands it off to Sarah. Taken with the reversal, looking for the inlet pass to Kinsey. Nice step under and hits the bucket. Nice move by Kinsey Lohman forward with the step under and gets the basket. Timeout on the floor, 30 second timeout. Is that Lakin? Yeah. Okay.
Cimarron basketball, 3.43 to go in the first quarter. Lady Bronx trail it by six. Lakin now in a 3-2 zone defense. Reagan Shavira into the lineup for the Lady Bronx. Pass underneath, knocked away by Tegan. Cimarron will inbound under their basket. Looking at Reagan wearing a face mask. Three off the inbounds by Bertelson. It's off the rim strong. Jantz with the putback. It won't go, but Caitlin Sonde there. Her shot will count, and she'll go to the free throw line with the end one. Foul will go against Brooke Groth. Brooke into the lineup during that timeout. Free throw good by Sonde. Lady Bronx having trouble with the pressure. Up the floor, Miller, the layup won't go. Jantz with the put back. It's too strong. Miller with the rebound again. Reagan got a hand on it, but I think she's going to be called for the foul. And it was on Reagan, her first foul. Kayla Miller at the free throw line to shoot a pair. And that one's in and out. I have no game stats, no player stats for Cimarron. Was unable to find any. Miller's second free throw is good. Near side to Shavira. Reagan and Tegan playing catch outside. Top of the key, Sammy now in the left wing to Bachman. Jarrah wide open from the top. And this is badly off to the side, and it goes back to Cimarron. Shannon Sawyer into the lineup for the Lady Blue Jays. And a steal in the backcourt by Tegan. Gives it back to Shavira. Three left side and won't go. And they're going to say last touch by Lakin. Jantz trapped in the backcourt, finds Miller, now back to Jantz up the far side. Stops on the wing, thought about the three. Good defense there by Tegan trailing the play. Sondai underneath. And Sawyer can't handle the pass. And he goes back to the Lady Bronx. 2 eight to go, opening quarter. Cimarron on top by 10. Left wing to Bachman. Drives left baseline off the glass. Got it. I like how Tegan leaned in that time, found the angle to the backboard. Jarrah nearly had the steal. Kenzie back to the lineup for Lakin. Lady Blue Jay basketball, we've got a foul. It'll be an offensive foul on the inbounds. Jana, Jana Wilson with the foul, her first, team third. Janae Fugit into the lineup for Cimarron. Tegan drives from the left side, off the glass. Ball is loose. Fugit able to throw it off of Reagan. And Cimarron will have it. Good defense on the baseline. That was the only option she had. A 
the floor. Sunday give to Miller, reverse layup, good. Back to a 10 point simmer on the lead. Long pass up the floor, Jarrah with it on the left wing. No need to force there. No. Brooke was open, but waited too long to see it. That's the type of play that you almost need to see as soon as you come across half court. You've got to know whether your post player is there or not. You can't look and then throw it because that by that time the defense has already seen your eyes. Give to Miller a foul on the baseline. I think that'll be on Brooke. We'll wait and see. And it is, that's two fouls on Brooke Groff. Sarah and Sammy back into the Lakin lineup. 21.7 seconds to go in our first quarter. Long inbounds on the left wing to Miller. She'll dribble back out and they'll work for the final shot of the quarter. Miller stops at the free throw line and hits the 15 footer. And that'll do it for our first quarter. After the first eight minutes, the scores simmer on 17. The Lady Bronx five. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the second quarter right after this. You're watching Lady Bronx basketball. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Fantastic burgers, Cody and Chicago hot dogs, Philly steak, BLT, and chicken sandwiches, along with ice cream treats like the traditional banana split, sundaes, shakes, malts, and cones. Dine in or carry out. Flashback to the days of Bebop and Bobby Socks at the one and only Fantastic Flashbacks Diner, Highway 50, Lakin. Refinance your auto loan at Golden Plains Credit Union. You can lower your current auto loan rate by 2% with no payments for up to 90 days. Rates can be as low as 3.25% annual percentage rate. This offer applies to loans financed from another lender. Think of all the money you could be saving every month. This is a limited time offer, so stop by and ask about refinancing your auto loan today. Golden Plains Credit Union. Life with a touch of gold. Member NCUA. Lakin basketball as we start the second quarter. Brett and Jared with you. Thanks for joining us for Lady Brown basketball tonight. Pass over the head of Sarah and we'll roll out of bounds. It'll be Cimarron's basketball. First of two games tonight. Bronx and Blue Jays to follow after this contest. There will be the homecoming festivities in between games tonight as well with five minutes to go before the boys contest tips off they'll break and uh, have the homecoming festivities and we will have those for you right here on lake and sports lake and bronx sports youtube chance at the free throw line the drive she's fouled maybe kinsey yep kinsey with the foul her first team's fourth Taylor Jantz at the free throw line to shoot two. Jantz the second free throw rolled in and out. Them home with their biggest lead of the half at 13. Kinsey kicks it back out. Now they work it back up top. They'll reset the offense. Man to man steal by Cimarron. Davidson on the left wing. Up top to Sarah. 
three off the glass won't go. Reagan Shabira with the rebound. Dishes back out to Sarah. Davidson on the wing. Now to Kenzie near corner. Sammy had to save that ball in, but right to the Blue Jays. On the drive, that foul is going to be on Reagan Shavira. That second foul on her. Jana Wilson shooting two free throws. First one rolls off the mark. Taking Bachman back into the lineup. And that free throw off as well. Miller, the turnaround left-handed shot off the mark. Sammy with the rebound. Lady Bronx working around the arc. Kinsey from the short baseline, no good. Jared, the runner in the paint, got it. Lady Bronx on their offense, if they just move the ball and move around a little bit with the basketball, they'll be all right. Nice running shot that time by Jared Davidson. Up top, Jantz in the corner, blocked by Sammy. And a battle for the rebound. I think that'll go against Cimarron, and it is. That's against Caitlin Sunday, her first. Pressure by the Lady Blue Jays in the backcourt. Up on the wing to Jarrett. Oh, and had it stolen away by Wilson. Bertelson the drive. Sarah with the foul. Almost looked from this angle, though, that Sarah got her hand on the basketball. It was almost a tie-up more than a foul. Yeah, I had no idea. Bertelson missed it. Not a good angle for us. No, but, I mean, the thing about it is, is she came right back down with the basketball. And the second free throw good by Bertelson. One for two that trip. And Cimarron, the thing about it, they're they're being really aggressive to the in the paint. They're taking it to the to the lane. They're taking it to the hoop. Taken. Slipped. And we'll turn it over. I like the fact she was taking it to the hole, but just go up, go up with it. So that's the thing Cimarron's doing. They're putting us in a position. I'm either going to make the layup or you're going to foul me. And that's where they've been really aggressive. They've shot nine free throws already this first half. They're not shooting real great. They're four of nine, but they're at least getting to the rim. Miller from the elbow kicks it up top to Bertelson. Back out front, Miller. Miller at the free throw line. Passing the paint off the hands of Jantz, and Lakin goes the other way with it. Taking hands it off to Kinsey. Sarah on the wing. Now to Jarrett. Taking left side three off the back iron, won't go. Battling for the rebound. And it's Lakin Ball. Aaron Yuri and Brooke Roth into the lineup for Lakin. Brooke with two fouls in this first half. On the inbounds, taken fouled by Bertelson. Just quick downhill, and as soon as she got it, she went straight up with it. Just like we were talking about. Free throw missed. Tegan came into the night 53% from the free throw line. And gets the second one to fall.
3-2 zone played by the Lady Bronx. Wilson with it in a corner to Chance. Lakin with the trap, Tegan able to knock it away, but she was the last one to touch it. Shannon Sawyer back in the lineup for Cimarron. 4.02 to go first half. Lady Bronx trail by 11. Off the inbounds, three, off the back iron. And Davidson with the rebound. Long outlet near side, Tegan. Jarra on the wing, lob underneath Brooke. Brooke leans in, shot won't go, but she's fouled. And I think that's on Taryn Jantz. Nope. It's on Caitlin Sonde, that's her second. Brooke with two free throws, that one's short. Morgan Escom into the lineup for the Lady Blue Jays. And that free throw good. Near corner with it, Miller back out on the wing. They work it around the arc. From the left side, Jana Wilson on the drive, knocked away. Cimarron will keep it. Team fouls, though, are even at six apiece, but it seemed like Cimarron was getting more of the fouls because Lakin's just fouling them on the drives to the basket, but uh, fouls are even at six. Tegan knocks that pass away. Blue Jays work it to the corner. Miller, the drive, steps through off the glass too strong, but another foul going to the basket. Foul is on Kenzie Lohman Fuller. That's her second, team's seventh. And Kayla Miller at the line to shoot two. First one is good. Cimarron now in the bonus the remainder of the half. Sammy back into the lineup for Lakin. And the second free throw well, good as well. Miller already in double figures with 12. And the lead is 12. Pass knocked away. We'll stay with Lakin. Sarah Wright back into the lineup. Damn, he turned around too strong. And Kayla Miller with the rebound. I didn't really see that. Jans just couldn't handle the pass and it and it fell? Fell through her hands off her feet. Oh, okay. Two and a half to play first half. Simron working it around the arc. And that foul will be on Brooke. And that's three fouls on Brooke Groff. Jana Wilson with the one and one. Wilson 0 for 2 in two trips this half. I want to thank Gage DeHone with our camera work tonight. Naeli Monroy into the Lady Bronc lineup. Wilson, after missing her first two, hits that one.
That one won't go. And the rebound last touched by Morgan Eskam, and Lakin will have it back. 13 point lead by Cimarron matches their biggest of the half. Pass near side to Tagan. Into Sammy off the dribble. Too strong off the glass. And it'll stay with Lake and last touch by Michaela Miller. Naeli with the inbound hits the shot. Nice inbound to Naeli Monroy. Miller double teamed in the paint. And you're going to be fouled by Sammy. And two more free throws for Michaela Miller. Bertelson back into the lineup for the Lady Blue Jays. Miller missed her first free throw of the night. She has since hit five straight. She leads all scorers with 14 points. And a steal on the lake and end. Jana Wilson takes it up the far side. Sarah must have got a hand in there because I really thought Simron dribbled it right off her hands into the sideline. That's but, uh, exactly what I thought. Simron with the possession from the left corner, and that's a traveling violation. Shannon Sawyer on the drive and it goes back to the Lady Bronx. Taken with it across the timeline. Reagan back into the lineup for the Lady Bronx. Sammy got the roll that time. Caught it just right off the flat of the rim. Her first bucket of the night. And the Lady Bronx steal. Sarah brings it up the floor. Pass near side to Tegan. Sarah drives. Cross paint. Jera puts it up and in. Tell you what, Sammy was battling that time. They had her double team. That was great, great notice of Jera wide open behind the defense. Yeah, that's what forced the help. Left Jera wide open. Burleson up top to Miller. 18 seconds to go in the half. Cimarron holds for one. Quick half. Extremely. Been 15 fouls and a lot of free throws, but still a quick half. Miller the drive, missed the layup. Davidson with the rebound. Outlet to Reagan. Up the floor, Sarah. Got to unload. Got it. Oh. Would have counted had it gone. We go to the halftime break. The Lady Bronx trailing 24 to 15. But I'll tell you what, as much as Cimarron has pressured the Lady Bronx and Lakin's put them at the free throw line, Lakin's only trails by nine had that last second shot win, would have been six. So I think right now the Lady Bronx should feel good about where they're at right now. Yeah, they're starting to get more of a rhythm there on offense. So I think as long as they keep that going for themselves, it's going to be a good second half. But we'll see. We're at the break right now. The Lady Bronx trail at 24 to 15. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with the half numbers, and we'll talk to Bronx head coach Nate Schmidt right after this. <laughs> 
Kearney County, a wonderful life opportunity offers a wide range of opportunities to residents and visitors. Hunting, fishing, camping, golfing, and bowling provide recreation, plus the Lake and Rec Commission provides youth and adult programs in Lake and Deerfield. Explore the rich history of the county by visiting the Kearney County Historical Museum or the historic sites throughout the county. Take advantage of what Kearney County has to offer. Contact Ralph Goodnight, Kearney County Economic Development, or on the web at www.kearneycountykansas.com. Some commercials make it really tempting to buy cheap insurance. That's great if price is the only thing that's important to you. The agency believes cost is important, but protection is what you're really paying for. Rely on the agency to build the policy that protects your property at a price you can afford. Call the agency today at 620-355-6789. Welcome back to Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube, LakeandSports.com. We're at the half. The Lady Bronx trailing Cimarron by the score of 24 to 15. Let's look at the scoring for Cimarron. Michaela Miller leading the way with 14 points. Caitlin Sonde with seven. And three Lady Blue Jays with one point apiece. Bertelson, Jans, and Wilson. From the free throw line, Cimarron, nine of 14 in the first half. For the Lady Bronx, Jared Davidson leading the way with four. Tegan Bachman with three. Kinsey Loman Fuller with three. Naomi Monroy with two. Sammy Vogel with two. And Brooke Roth with a lone free throw. She has one point. From the free throw line for Lakin, they are two of six in the first half. In our second game tonight, and of course I said earlier it is homecoming, so there will be a little bit of a pause before our boys game tonight to have the homecoming festivities, and we do plan on airing those for you right here on Lake and Bronx Sports YouTube. And now we're joined by Bronx head coach Nate Schmidt, and coach, a good bounce back win Tuesday on the road at Southwestern Heights, and uh, a really good uh, non-league opportunity tonight with an old High Plains League foe, Cimarron. Yeah, um, definitely a, a nice bounce back win, you know, it's it's nice. You look at we, we I mean, we've, we've got five out of our last seven, you know. So that's that's a pretty positive, pretty positive thing for us. And uh, you know, I was careful what I said after the game at Heights because you know I wasn't super impressed after the game with our performance. Um, but I've tried to do a better job of that as of late, rather than base it off of emotions and how we think it went. We're able to go back and look at the stats, you know. And if we could start taking care of the basketball and making free throws. Uh, we would be in excellent shape, um, you know, because with the exception of that, we played a pretty darn good good game um, on, on Friday. It may not have felt that, or on Tuesday, it may not have felt that way with the, the rhythm and, uh, of the game, but um, we were exceptional in the third quarter. That's the best quarter we've had all season. So definitely some positives to take away from it. Um, but we're going to have to be at our best tonight. Um, you know, Cimarron, uh, they're... Their record may not indicate it, but they're a very good basketball team. They have an incredible point guard uh, that gave us fits last year, and we're definitely going to have our hands full tonight. Yeah, definitely. And you talk about Tuesday night. The Bronx were really good for 28 minutes. That final four, you know, you, you go from and, – and one of your goals is always on defense and under 40. Yeah. You had a team under 30. And uh, <laughs> then all of a sudden they broke out and, you know, had a great final four minutes. But, uh, you know, and of course that's something a young team may go through. You can't, you can't uh, have that happen all of the time because, you know, you want to finish a lot stronger. But uh, thankfully the Bronx were up 25 when you give up 20, 21 points in four minutes. Yeah, I feel like we've been very good defensively all year. There's a handful of hiccups in there, but uh, they've been really, really good. Um, you know, they had 27 points with, I think, four minutes to go in the game. Yep. Um, so, you know, we, we just haven't got our offense going like we ha would have liked at this point. But, uh, you know, lots of teaching moments. We're learning a ton. Um, and there's going to come a time. I don't know when it's going to be, but we're going to score a lot of points again. Um, you know, but that's also been the thing in previous years. We've played a style to speed teams up, create more possessions because we've been really good offensively and we felt we could outscore our opponents. So even like when we go back and watch last year's film, nothing against those guys, but, you know, we played six guys and they're trying to all play 32 minutes and, you know, do so much for us offensively that defensively they're just gassed and we weren't real good. Yeah. Well, now it's the opposite. We're playing a ton of guys. They're young. 
we're, we're, we're pretty darn good defensively. We're rebounding the ball, but we're struggling to score it. And that's just going to come with time and experience. And, you know, there are a lot of kids as sophomores in high school that are just filling it up, um, you know, but we've yeah. got a couple handfuls of them that are that are somewhat doing that. They're, they're all pitching in, and that could be pretty dangerous down the road. And you talk about rebounding, and and you said you, the Lakers won five of their last seven. Yeah. And uh, rebounding has been a big key to that, uh, winning five of seven. But the thing about it is with rebounds, that's always one extra opportunity, especially when you're grabbing, you know, Lakers grabbing double figures offensive rebounds. So you're giving your offense second, uh, second chance points. And like you said, sometimes this team is struggling to score, but you, you've got to like your chances when your defense can or your rebounding can give you more opportunities. Well, you know, they say they say defense wins championships, yep. but I, I feel defense gives you if defense gives you the opportunity to be in a championship game. Like you're going to have off nights, you're going to have nights, and you're not going to fill it up, but you better be able to guard somebody. And I feel like that's what this group can do. Like we can guard. Um, we're going to have to score it better in order to, to make a run. But, but right now we have something to, you know, uh, to build on, and, and that's our defense. You know, in those five wins, that's 20 quarters. In four of those 20 quarters, we've gotten 100% of the defensive rebounds, um, which is, like, unheard of. Like, that's so yeah. not normal. So yeah. of, a, of a missed shot by our opponent, in four quarters, we've gotten 100% of them. Um, you know, our 21-2 and two team, we felt like if as a team we can get to 70% defensive rebound and we got a chance to make the state tournament. We never could get there. So these guys have been 100% in four quarters, you know, in the last five games. You know, since Christmas break, we're getting 82% of our defensive rebounds, which is really, really good. Um, and then the nice part is we're getting over 40% of our offensive rebounds in those games too. So we're creating some more possessions and, you know, just – you know, um, you know, we got Coach Simon, we might as well utilize him. I mean, he's doing analytics and stuff for the <laughs> NBA. And, you know, so the kids are probably just overwhelmed with data every yes. day. But, you know, for guys like us, we're like, oh, man, like this is awesome. But, like, outstanding teaching tools at a young age that we're able to provide them to try to help them uh, be better on the floor. Coach Simon will have a huddle email out by 1030 tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> stupid. Like he, But, you know, like it's a big part of what we do. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, we have a scouting report for every team, like an in-depth, very, very good scouting report. We're always prepping for our opponent, trying to figure out a best way to beat them. You know, and you can say what you want. Like, I know other coaches scout and other teams oh, do sure. stuff, but yeah. our kids are always prepared. We're never putting them on the floor unprepared. Like, it's like, hey, we have a big test on Friday. Well, we're, we're prepping for that test all week. We're reviewing. We're making sure they know exactly what to do. And so that's why, like, you see us on the side where we might get as frustrated as we are. It's like, well, we've been beating this into them for the last three, four days. But uh, Coach yeah. Simon does an incredible job. Like, I can't believe I used to do all of that stuff. Like, he, he just handles it all, yeah. you know. Um, and, and right now, he's three games ahead. He's already he, – we're ready yep. to go. But oh, yeah. what yeah. an amazing asset um, to our program oh. and Coach Simon and, and what he does with that. It, it's, it's unbelievable. It amazes me just to look at some of the things that he sends with Huddle and all that stuff. It's just amazing. There's and, a reason uh, the Pistons are paying him. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason for that because he's really, really good. He's so, very good at it, yeah. exactly. Uh, back to Tuesday night, Colder Oldham with a game-high 25 points. Uh, best game of the year for him so far. Um, I don't know. Maybe the point guard position is really going to be his strong suit, but he's getting better with it each game. Yeah, um, and, and that's the thing. Like What I'm talking about, these guys being selfless, they may not be what doing what's best for them individually, but they're doing what's best for our team. Mm -hmm. And if you remember early on, you're asking Adric to be our point guard for 32 minutes. Well, what happens if he gets in foul trouble or he gets tired? We gotta have somebody else. Yep. Um, and so Coulter's kind of stepped up and done that for us. Um, and that's what's great about this team. They're they're selfless. It's not about them or their stats or their position. They're doing it all for the betterment of the team. And it's funny how the game honors that, rewards that. And I think it did that to Coulter on Tuesday. And he had 25 points. And, you know, he'll tell you he missed three or four easy ones. You know, he had over 30. So, um, you know, again, as a 15-, 16-year-old, he's, he's doing that in, in big games. So crazy to think what's going to happen down the road. Well, Coach, looking forward to it tonight as the Bronx and the Blue Jays 
renew an old rivalry. It's not the old High Plains League anymore, <laughs> but still it's a, it's a competitive contest anytime yep. these two teams meet. Absolutely. Best of luck tonight. Thank we'll you, talk Brett. to you when we're done. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Coach. Lady Bronx with a quick foul to start this second half, and they're going to try to figure out what the number was, and I think it was Jarrah. Free throw miss. No, it was taken with the foul, so her first. Jared back in here. I think I kind of halfway got it stopped right, but yeah. uh, Caitlin Sonday missed the first free throw, second one up coming here, and missed that one as well. Offensive rebound by Jantz off the glass, too strong, taken with the rebound. Up the floor. Jared up the near side, up top to Tegan. Tell you what, they list Caitlin Sonday at 6'1", but Sammy standing next to her looks to me every bit of just as tall as Caitlin Sonday. Kinsey with the turnaround. You always add a couple inches on the, on the paper. <laughs> Sarah with the steal up the floor, Davidson. Now see right there, she needs to just take her to the rack, right there. Just like that. Missed the shot, Sammy with the rebound, puts it up and in. You know, Jero just kind of backed out. Take him to the hole. Take him. Like I said, you're either going to get a layup or they're going to foul you. Oh. And on the drive in the paint, Sammy will be called with the foul. See, that's the difference. That's that side of the floor to this side. Cimarron's not stopping for the defender. They're just going right into him. Sammy with the foul. That's her second. The other one was on taking, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Free throw up. Off the mark. Karen Jantz at the free throw line, missed them both. Cimarron nine of 14 in the first half. They've, they're 0 for four to start the second half from the free throw line. Sarah on the left wing to Jara. Jara, 17 footer, good. Jara Davidson from 17. And the Lady Bronx now just back to within three. Lady Bronx have scored six straight to open this half. And Lakin actually on a 10-0 run if you go back to the second quarter. Bertelson three up top, air ball. This is where Lakin's girls need to be fired up. Yeah, got to be aggressive, attack, get good wide open shots here. And really I don't see the fire. This is where you need to be going. Up top, Kinsey on the right wing to Sarah. Lob in the post. Sammy won't go. Michaela Miller with the free with the rebound. Miller brings it up herself. Sidesteps and hits the shot. Right wing taken, and there's a foul. I think yeah, it's on Jana Wilson. That's her second. Inbounds to Kinsey, fires from three off the back end, and Michaela Miller with the rebound. Miller brings it up herself, hesitates, looking to drive. Bertelson from the corner, three off the back iron, and Sarah Wright with the rebound. Lob underneath, Sammy backs in. Oh, the pass intended for Sarah is knocked away. Jana Wilson on the drive, Tegan able to knock it away. Cimarron will keep it. A good defense by Tegan Bachman. Nayeli Monroy into the lineup for Lakin. And Reagan Shabira in as well. Burleson with the long inbounds up top. Jantz. Inlet pass to Sonday. She was double teamed by Sammy and Naeli, and I thought Sonday actually got a hand on that, but Cimarron will keep the possession. Up top to Miller.
Right wing Bertelson. They work it far side. That is Wilson. Good defense. You seen some good movement by the Lady Bronx defense. Bertelson up top three. Won't go. Sammy battling for the rebound. Sunday got, got away with a shot in the back against Sammy, but Lakin will get the rebound on the miss. Yeah, Sammy had no chance to try to go get that rebound, but Lakin able to get the ball back. Ellie yeah, far side now to Reagan. Nice screen by Sammy. Oh, nice play, Sammy falling out of bounds. Works it to Nayeli Monroy, who puts it up and in. Holy cow, that was a great play by Sammy Vogel to realize where Nayeli was. Great heads up. It's a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 4-11 to go in our third quarter. The Lady Bronx crawling back into it. They trail 26-23. We're back after this. At Lake and Drug, their mission is simple. They strive to provide professional pharmacy services with hometown hospitality. Lake and Drug's experienced staff leads with compassion and utilizes modern technology to fit all of your individual needs. Whether it's prescription medications or over-the-counter products, Lake and Drug has the answer to all of your questions. Lake and Drug at 610 O'Loughlin Street in Lakin is a proud supporter of the community of Lakin and Lakin Schools. Twenty-six, twenty-three. Cimarron with the lead and the basketball. Brett and Jared with you. Thanks for joining us for Lady Bronx basketball tonight. Bronx and Blue Jays waiting at the conclusion of this contest. Our second game tonight. Laking in a three-two. Miller across the timeline this side. Bertelson gives it back to Miller. Long three out front, nothing but net. Pass to the right side, taken off her fingertips. We've got a scrum on the floor. The arrow points to Lakin. Good hustle there for Tegan just to keep Lakin in the possession. Want to shout out the crew to, at Shorty's 2 Cafe tonight. Got us on a big screen, I'm sure. Restaurant and club open on game nights. Underneath, Nayeli. Shot won't go. Miller with the rebound. Miller drives to the baseline. Back out to Bertelson. Too strong. And Reagan Shabir with the steal. Give to Davidson off the heel. And the foul will go on to Ellie Monroy on the floor. <laughs> Sawyer in the lineup for Cimarron. Sarah Wright back in for Lakin. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Miller with it on the left wing. A game high 19 points so far. Steal out front, and Reagan does come away with it. Works it across to Sarah, up the floor in the corner, Naeli. Up top, Reagan. Jarrah just inside the stripe, hits it from 17. Jarrah with eight, pass underneath. It's going back Lakin's way. Off the fingertips of Caitlin Sonde, Brooke Groff into the Lakin lineup. Cimarron now with full court pressure on the inbounds in the backcourt. court. 
Reagan with it across the timeline. Man-to-man -man defense by Cimarron. Sammy with the loose ball. They work it around the arc, top of the key. Reagan missed the three. Miller with the rebound for Cimarron. She brings it up the floor. Inns able to hit the shot. You know what, if you even set up to take a charge against Michaela, I think she's going to sidestep you. Yeah. I mean, she's just athletic enough that I think she's, she sees it coming and she's going to sidestep. And she's done that a couple of times in the lane so far tonight. Nice call by Kurt Leader, the interim head coach tonight with that call. <laughs> Guarantee you he was, he was uh, pleading his case. That foul on Jana Wilson, that's her third. Aaron Yuri into the lake and line up. Kinsey back in for the Lady Bronx. Janae Fugit in for Cimarron. Right wing to Sarah. Kinsey has it up top. Kinsey top of the key, got it. Just a two. Toe was on the stripe. Lady Bronx to within four, three from the right side, off the front, iron won't go. Jantz with the put back, it's good. Karen Jantz with the bucket. Right side to Reagan, up top to Brooke. Now they work it near side, Sarah. Bounce pass into Kinsey, knocked away, and Jana Wilson with it. Correct that, that's Taryn Jantz with it. Near side, Fugit, three. Off the back iron, won't go. And the rebound comes off to Sarah Wright. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Sarah across the timeline. Now under 10, make it five. And a foul. Nice attempt that time by Kenzie. The defense is there, you're going up with it. Draw that foul, you bet. And that foul will go against Taryn Jantz, that's her second, and Kenzie at the free throw line. Oh, in and out, won't go. Second free throw is good that time. That'll do it for three quarters of play here at the Lakin Middle School gym. The Lady Bronx trailing Cimarron by the score of 20, uh, 33 to 28. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back here with the fourth right after this. They said this place was too isolated to call home. They said it was too remote to build a community. And then one day, a farmer strung a copper wire from one fence post to another and changed everything. We didn't build the communities of Southwest Kansas. No, we just brought them together. Welcome back to Lake and Bronx Sports U2. The cheerleaders on the floor. Firing up the crowd as we head to our fourth quarter. The Lady Bronx trailing Cimarron by the score of 33 to 28. Brett and Jared with you. Thanks for joining us for Lake and High School basketball tonight. Tegan, Kenzie, Jara, Sarah, and Sammy, the original starting five on the floor for Lakin. Miller, Sunday, Wilson, Bertelson, and Jantz. The original starting five. So both starting fives on the floor for each team as we start this fourth quarter. Cimarron basketball. Lob inside intended for Sunday. Knocked away by Sammy. It's 
Cimarron basketball on their baseline. Miller on the left wing. And a steal out front. Good anticipation by Jarrah. Jarrah the drive. Off the glass won't go. Sarah with the offensive rebound. Pagan off the elbow. Won't go off the glass. Sonde with the rebound. Lady Bronx missing a golden opportunity there. Miller with the top of the key. Still a 3-2 zone by Lakin. Far side Bertelson. Head fake to Jance on the elbow. Blocked by Kinsey. She just took it right away from her. And Lakin has it going the other way. Jarrah from the left wing. Three, got it! Jarrah Davidson now in double figures with 11. And the Lady Bronx are within two with 6.40 to play. At the elbow. Jantz over to Miller. She fires from three. That's off the mark. And Davidson with the rebound. Outlet to Kenzie. She'll hand it off to Tegan. The Lady Bronx a chance to tie or take their first lead with a three. Tegan on the wing. Sammy fires from three. That's off the mark. Won't go. And the rebound comes off to Jana Wilson. Wilson sprints up the near side at the free throw line. Knocked away by Tegan. Gives it up to Sarah. Now near side Jarrah with it. Sammy on the baseline. Lady Bronx reset the offense. And the Lady Bronx throw it away. Some run basketball. Burleson across the timeline, near side to Wilson. Lakin changing up the defense. Well, I think they went back to the 2 3 bounce pass. Sunday out to Wilson, the 15 footer, got it. Jana Wilson with the basket. Back to a four point Cimarron lead. Sarah with it across the timeline, Tegan with it on the wing. Sarah on the dribble, ball knocked away. Jarrah with it up top, taken off her fingertips. She has to save it back in, but right to Sarah. Good hustle that time by Tegan Bachman. Jarrah on the drive, hits it over Miller. Jantz at the free throw line, stolen away by Davidson. Lakin once again, a chance to tie or take the lead. Taken on the wing, up top to Davidson. Lady Bronx working it around the arc. Taken on the drive, layup won't go. Michaela Miller with the rebound. Miller on the drive. Spin move, oh my gosh. Travel. You know what, maybe she did, maybe she didn't, but that was a pretty darn good move. Yeah, I, I thought it was, just because she stepped outside first and then yeah. put both feet to the middle. I mean, to have enough body control to spin between two players like that, Aaron Yuri into the lineup. Brooke Roth in as well. Reagan with it on the right wing. Into Sammy. Sammy backs in, has it taken away. And a timeout called by Lakin. That's one of those ones, don't dribble. Turn yeah. and shoot. Timeout on the floor, full timeout. Called by Lakin. 3.51 to play in our ball game. Lakin trailing by two. We'll have the basketball right after this when we come back. 
A lot of action on the street today, huh, Willie? Yep. Oh, check out the German V8. Good car. Our feeder zane. Ooh, 64 Dream Car. At Shelter Insurance, we insure all your favorite rides. Oh, classic convertible. And have since 1946. Sweet pickup. Hiya, Muggsy. Yo. From Hot Wheels to hybrids, we've got you covered. Hey, mailman. Love those shoes. Hey, where you going? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Three fifty-one to go in our ball game. Lakin will have the basketball, trailing by two. Rhett and Jared with you. Thanks for joining us tonight for Lady Bronc basketball. Reagan with the inbound, finds Sammy, knocked away by Miller. Lakin will keep it. Reagan just moves to the other side of the lane to, for this inbound. Lob stolen away by Miller. Miller brings it up the floor. Kinsey, nice job to get a hand on it. Miller able to grab it and put it back in. Situation like that, that's a tie up because she came back down right, with it, right? Uh, in a situation she, like that, she wouldn't lost it be? possession of it. She blocked it down and she caught it lower. Okay. So. Now she would have kept her hand on it the whole time then, yeah. Yeah, okay. I know everybody on the other side was wanting a traveling violation and you, you're not gonna get that. No. I mean, that was just, that was a good defensive play to get a hand on it. But uh, Jara from the right wing, three bouncing around, won't go. Rebound comes off to Janae Fugit. Fugit gives it up to Miller. Under three and a half to play. Two three zone played by the Lady Bronx. Ooh, that was almost a travel out front. Lob underneath off the hand of Sonde. Saves it back in into the hands of Sammy. Outlet to Tegan. Three minutes to play as she comes across the timeline. Left side, Reagan. Jarrah up top. Reagan, the runner in the paint, won't go. Rebound to Fugit. Miller hands it off to Burleson, cross court to Fugit. Miller from the far side. On the baseline, you're gonna duck back up in. Missed the shot, but get the foul on Sammy. Third foul on Sammy. Michaela Miller at the line to shoot two. Her first, first trip to the line this half. She has hit her last five free throws. Now make it six. Game high, 24 points for Miller. Kenzie back in the lineup for Lake and Taryn Jans also in for Cimarron. Free throw won't go. Davidson with the rebound. 2.14 to play, Lady Bronx trail it by five. Tegan top of the key, off the dribble. At the free throw line, over to Sarah. Now into Sammy. Sammy turns over everything, and the foul will be on Kinsey. And that's her fourth. Her third on the board's got three. Fifth team foul. So it'll be Simmer on basketball, 1.45 to play. Have to put some pressure on. Michaela Miller just dribbling out front. Cimarron's not going to be in a hurry with a minute and a half to go. Now they clear. Miller backs it back out, works it 
And that pass knocked away by Tegan into the Cimarron bench. They'll inbounds on that side. And Kinsey went down hard. And I don't, I don't know what. I don't know if it was a knee or if it was an ankle. Yeah, I'm not sure. And almost like she's had a hand holding her thigh. You know, I don't know. And when she went down, she didn't even have that leg on the oh, floor. I mean, she I mean, might have uh, lost her breath. It looks like she just ran into the player. Might have knocked the wind out of her. Well, and then that left leg buckled underneath her, too. Yeah. But yeah, there was definitely some contact there. I think she just might have lost her breath. Well, they're going to they'll help her do her feet. Well, she's definitely she's going to favor that left leg. Yeah. But At least she's able to, she's trying to put a little bit of weight on it though, so that's a good sign. Kinsey with eight points for the Lady Bronx tonight. It'll still be Cimarron basketball. They'll inbound on their baseline. Bound on the far side, dribbles out near the timeline. And that pass off the hands of Fugit. Good defense that time. The Lady Bronx sped up Michaela Miller. Lakin basketball, 1-11 to go in the game. Lakin needs points in a hurry. They trail by five. Davidson top of the key, dribbles right side. Tegan takes it from her. Tegan, the spin, and a foul called. So Lakin will get a break there. Foul on Taryn Jantz. We're going to go to the line to shoot two free throws. Jantz's third, 15 foul. First free throw, nothing but net. Bronx can also try to tie this up because the arrow is in our favor. So if they want to get aggressive and not really foul, but tie up the ball, it would work well for us. Tegan hit both free throws. Pulls the Lady Bronx within three and a simmer on turnover. It's going back to Lakin. 54.7 seconds to go. Lakin doesn't necessarily need the three right here, but you've got to come away with points on this possession. Kick on the inbounds. Reagan will stay right there and do it all over again. Taken with it, way out front, dribbles left side. Spin move off the glass, too strong. Reagan Shavira with the rebound. Out front, Davidson, 18 footer, all oh, rolls around, won't go. Sammy runs the rebound down again. Cross court pass, Sarah with it. Now to Reagan. Reagan off the drive. Nothing called. And it's Simmer on basketball. Simmer on timeout. It's a full one. 32.8 seconds to go in the game. Let's take one more break. We'll be back. 
The Ranch House community is here to assist with skilled rehab, long-term care, and assisted living. We offer a serene atmosphere, dedicated staff, delectable dining, and daily activities. The Ranch House is here to serve our communities. Please review our site at midwest-health.com backslash ranch house backslash or call 620-371-4700 to schedule your tour today. We look forward to hearing from you. Thirty-two point eight seconds to go in our ball game. It will be Cimarron basketball. Lakin is out of timeouts. No. I'm oh, what? I'm out of ads. Oh, you're out of ads. Oh, okay. Now Lakin's got two. Miller Four with it 30. in the backcourt. Timeout oh. called by Cimarron. 20 seconds to go, 30 second timeout. Lakin needs to get a turnover now. I, I guess if you wanted, you put anybody but Michaela Miller on the free throw line. She's hit her last seven. Yeah, I say you double her and leave the, uh, the inbounder open. <clears throat> yep, I would not let her catch the basketball here and, and probably foul somebody else, and they've got a foul to get. So you need to you need to foul to get that foul back. You got you're giving one up. Now foul. Foul or go for the ball and tie it up. And there's the foul. Six seconds went off. They've got you've got to understand that you've got a foul to get. Foul is on Sammy or four. Now the next one puts them at the free throw line, but you've got to try to go for a steal, but you don't want to foul Michaela Miller. And you're going to have but she's to. Going, you're going to have to because she's going to keep the basketball. And it doesn't matter because it took way too long to foul anyways. Six seconds really doesn't leave you much when it's a three point. Taken with her second foul, Miller at the free throw line with the one and one. Miller with 25 points tonight. She's hit her last seven free throws, now make it eight. And that should pretty much do it. Timeout on the floor. Point eight seconds to go. Miller will be at the line with her second free throw. If I was taken, I would have just went out of the break and went and stood down in the corner, hit away. <laughs> See how long that could last. Well, she did try, and Bertelson did see her. Davidson with the rebound, and a timeout called by Lakin with 4.3. Full timeout. Full timeout. We're going to bounce away for one more. We'll be back with the finish right after this. The Lincoln Recreation Commission has a full fitness room with five treadmills, tread climber, rolling machine, three elliptical fitness cross trainers, two stationary bikes, and strength training fitness equipment. You'll find just what you need for your own quality workout. The fitness room is open for the public's use free of charge during business hours. For use after business hours, Lincoln Rec also has a keyless entry system available. The Lincoln Rec Commission, always involved with the youth of Lincoln, 702 North Campbell, Lincoln, 355-7039. The benefits are endless. 5.8 seconds to go in our ball game. It will be Lakin basketball, and they're going to have them take it out on the baseline. That should have been near to midcourt because they got the ball in. It ought to be near to midcourt, but.
Dagan, long pass up to Sammy, over to Jarrett. Jarrett fires the three, off the back iron, won't go, and that's going to do it. Lady Bronx will lose tonight by the score of 39 to 35. And they will fall to nine and five on the season. Tell you what, while we're at it, Jared, let's just add up the totals. We'll take a timeout. We'll, we will log off of this contest and get ready for the boys game. We will also be airing the homecoming festivities tonight. So uh, that'll, that will come five minutes before They'll stop the five minutes during the boys' warm-ups, and then they'll have the festivities, and they will allow the teams five more minutes to warm up. So look at the totals. First for the Lady Blue Jays, they improved to 13-2 and two on the year. Michaela Miller leading all scorers with 26 points. Caitlin Sonde with seven. Jana Wilson with three. Taryn Jantz with three. And Chloe Bertelson with two. For Lakin, Jared Davidson leading the way with 13. Kenzie Lohman Fuller followed with eight. Tegan Bachman with five. Naeli Monroy with four. Sammy Vogel with four. And Brooke Groff with one. From the free throw line, Cimarron in the second half was three of eight. And those came from Michaela Miller. They finished the game 12 of 22. For the Lady Bronx, just four free throws attempted in the second half. They were two of four. They finished the game four of 10 from the strike. For Lakin, they fall to nine and five on the year. Cimarron improves to 13 and two. And we're gonna take, uh, take a timeout. And we'll be back in about, oh, give us seven or eight minutes. And we'll be back on the air for Bronx basketball. For Jared, I'm Brett. And for all the sponsors, we thank you for joining us. We'll be back in a bit. 